So in the last video, we calculated clearance, which was the amount of a substance urinated per unit time, maybe per minute, divided by the blood concentration of that substance. And we calculated it with some toy numbers that we'd made up. But what if you actually wanted to measure the clearance of some substance in some person? How would you do that? Well, you would need to know both the denominator and the numerator. And so how would you get the blood concentration? Well, you would just take a blood sample and measure the concentration. And how would you measure the amount urinated per minute of some substance? Well, the key is to realize that that is equal to the concentration of that substance in the urine times the volume of urine that you produce per minute. Now this too is actually pretty hard to measure so what you might do instead is measure the volume of urine that you produce per day and then figure out what that corresponds to in terms of volume of urine per minute. And so practically speaking what you could do is collect someone's urine for an entire day, put it in a bucket, and then in that bucket measure the concentration of the substance you care about in the urine. And so the way that this is often written out is clearance is equal to the urine concentration times the urine flow rate. And this is written as a V with a little dot over it. The V means volume and the dot means over time, so the change over time. So that's a urine flow rate divided by the plasma concentration of the substance. Sometimes you might see UX and PX and CLX, meaning the clearance of substance X is equal to the urine concentration of substance X times the urine flow rate divided by the plasma concentration of substance X.